Welcome back, viewers, for another episode of Humanity's Finest. We're here today for a crashed raider, which is pretty exciting because this is our very first crash medium. Before we can go on it, though, you know the drill, rookies. I'm going to take four trained troops now after the, the training school, which means there's space for three rookies to come along. So let's go ahead and click randomize. Okay, so the people are coming along. Fernando Cardia, pop my C and C Lord DK. Welcome to the squad. Now let me set up the squad and I'll get back to you. Here's the squad and the three rookies, C Lord DK, pop my C and Cardia. Accompanying them are the so-called veterans. So we have James Tando here who let's turn it into a medic. Oh my god, a hundred aim. Let's give you something fitting. A marksman rifle. Although this squad is incredibly um, incredibly long range already, but oh well, that's fine. That's gonna be fine. J dubs, J dubs, you need to become a scout. Pretty good aim though, and let's give you a shotgun to make up for the fact that everyone in the squad seems to uh, love their long range. Medic, assault, scout, gunner. I think this should be fine. We have suppression if need be. We have a pseudo sniper in the form of stock cars with a squad side. I don't know how this is supposed to make sense. Squad side and running gun. These two perks seem contradictory, but whatever. Your stock cars. And yeah, James Handel here as a medic. Basically, I said a couple of missions ago, people with high aim who want to be a support are turned to a medic uh, because engineer, they're kind of wasting their aim because they spend most of the time throwing grenades. Whereas a medic, they are kind of just like carrying around a free med kit, which is kind of handy. And with training roulette, you never know what perks you'll get down the track. So for all you know, you could get squad side, you could get, I don't know, into the zone or something. Who knows? We'll see as we go further. The equipment, I bring along a lot of flashbangs. Uh, only one HP grenade and one AP grenade because it's a forest map, they won't come into that much use, I'm thinking. So, as it is, this should suffice. Instead, we're going heavy on flashbangs and two smoke grenades in case we get into a firefight. And, and with the suppression, we shouldn't run too many troubles, I think. Uh, so, let's get down there. All the way next to Mongolia. We're heading into China for the next operation. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Operation Purple Prophet. And something interesting to note, I'm really feeling the huge difference between six members and seven members because with six members you're struggling to fill the equipment slots, and seven members, you got plenty. For now at least. Until we ha have to start putting scopes and stuff on people. But yeah, that's not mission. Now one of these rookies, if I remember right, only has two health. So I stack extra armor on him. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike one is ready to secure the craft. There you are. Happy Big Sky. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. Ah, <sighs> six health. That's worth alloy plating, by the way. We have alloy plating in the squad. It's pretty handy. Uh, so, where the heck are we? This is a corner map. Uh, so, let's just move out. Let's just move out. The, I don't really have much of a plan. It's a forest map. I never seem to remember forest maps very well. Let's move out, see how it goes. So, first step, let's move up to here. Welcome. want to grab now if possible. I could have used Swarm Tracker, but I don't think it was necessary because, hey, we only get three charges, so I'm going to try to use it Roger, in a more important track. situation. But I suppose the first turn is pretty important. See me go to that cover and back? You are pretty darn fast, I've said before. Uh, Dalcourt, send you up in cover if I can. If I can. Moving out. Okay, everyone just aye, aye. nice and close. Okay, next turn, we'll just keep moving out. Okay, what's out there? Thermit, okay. Okay, okay. Let's move you up. There's not much cover to go around. No need to ask twice. Three dubs isn't the world's fastest scout. Bit of a shame, really. I can do it. Oh, yeah, huh? Roger, tracking. That's affirmative. Keep things nice and simple for now. Out. Stick together. James Hando, you're slow. James Hando, dash up. Oh my god, you're so slow. Double time. Uh, Cardia, you can dash up too. 
Okay, where are they? Let me know. Straight this way. Okay. No. 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 We like aliens. We love aliens. Keep moving up. No mail indicators either, which is a bit of a shame. I want to know where the mail is. I have no bow scanners. Possibly I should have put a bow scanner on uh, the scout. J dubs, but. Oh well. Oh well, it's fine. These aliens, wherever they are, must be pretty far away. I might get hear any footsteps at all. Odd. Let's keep moving. This is the edge of the map. I'm kind of inclined to move towards the edge, but let's just keep moving this way. I'll be fine. That's affirmative. Okay, so far so good. We could go up the hill, but to let's not. Heading there now. I'm on the move. Let's just keep sticking together. Copy that. Down here in low ground. On my way. Engaging legs. Okay. Come on, aliens. Are you still this way? Apparently, yes. Still no footsteps. Odd. Is it anybody out there? <laughs> it's like quiet. It's like the middle of the night. Let's move out over here. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I can probably dash you up to this corner. Yes, I can. Cool. Let's dash everyone else up next to you. Let's get a move on. I don't know if there's mount out there. I'm not getting any indicators at all. It's really weird. <laughs> I got nothing to say to you, Sarkos. And James Hando. Okay. For now, just keep skirting outside the UFO. Ooh, is that footsteps I heard? Yes, it is. Okay, there's mount. Towards the UFO. Yeah, about that. I'm not going towards that mount. I want to clear the rest of the map before heading towards the UFO. We must be close, surely. Moving out. We're close to something. We haven't seen anything so far. It's kind of crazy. I'm surprised we haven't got any mount indicators until this last turn. That's weird. And since I heard footsteps, it must be really close. I'm just not sure where. Maybe next turn I'll use more tracker. Find out. Moving. We are getting awfully close to a UFO as well, which is another reason why I want to use more tracker. Just in case. Yes, Commander. Okay. Okay. It's yeah, still this way. Okay. What was that? Aliens. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Come on, somebody hit him. Nice. One less than men. There's two seekers. Two seekers. One them over there. Okay, cool. What? <laughs> what did he just say, Tarkos? I have no idea. Um, where is my motor track here? Let's use it so we don't actually trigger another pod. Okay, nothing. You have a shotgun, it's pretty handy. Let's move you up to here. No further contact that we know of. We can't uh, scan out the second uh, seeker because we don't have any mod trackers. A shame. So, cars, why don't you move over here? Okay, Should be safe. Cool. And go ahead and shoot the stem in the flank. Good job. And J Dubs, take a shot. Four health seekers. This looks wrong. I'm so not used to Brutal. Brutal aliens are weird. Four health seekers. Who even does that? Moving out. Solid copy. Don't like cheating. That's affirmative. Moving. Okay, everyone, let's just Moving sit to over here and we need overwatch for their last seeker. Right. Hopefully he doesn't waste our time too much. Oh, hello. Good. He's right here. Kill him. Good. Shot failed to connect. Good. Okay, Mal is still this way. I guess I can try risk hanging towards the Mal, but I don't like it. The problem is this dynamic war, if I don't go for the Mal now, 
I only get so many opportunities, that's the thing. Like, this mission counts effectively as two missions, as far as Mao's concerned. Okay, we know this should be- okay, this should be safe, I think, so let's... Let's start heading this way a little bit. I really don't like heading towards UFO, but there is mild potential, so maybe I will do it. I so if I trigger the two outsiders, it could be pretty bad. Aye, aye. I really don't want to trigger the two outsiders. Moving to position. For now though, let's get ready. Cool. We all have ammo again. Let's see what else is out there. Floaters. Sectoids. Trade ups? Nothing. Okay. Let's That's move you here. Problem. Still nothing. And that includes Mal. No Mal either. Stash up to here. Okay. That is most likely the outsiders. It's pretty much in the direct diagonal. So they're probably inside this room, I think. Like they're practically on your, the edge of your vision. Except, not really. They're kind of halfway between here and here, so like here, and halfway between here and here. So, yeah, they're probably inside that room. Probably. So, let's not go to inside the UFO. We can go around it, but we're not going inside. We know where the outsiders are. Sure thing. Roger, tracking. And something else is weird as well. We're back to early game. We're dealing with single outsiders instead of a huge pod of sector commanders, outsiders, and, uh, and what's, what, what is it? Um, and mectoids. So, for step I heard, yeah, that might not have been outsiders, that might have been floaters. I'm not sure though. Now is still this way. Now is still this way. Well, since I suspect that's the outsiders, I am going to keep moving towards the UFO and see where it takes me. Okay, it takes me nowhere. Let's move everyone else behind you. Moving to position. Moving. That might have been the outsiders, that might have been floaters. The thing is, sometimes the alien sounds play at the same time as the ping, and if the ping happens to be silent in the case of outsiders, you can end up getting fooled. Like I've been fooled by sectoid sounds before because it kept ping from the UFO, but yet it was actually a sectoid somewhere else. It's really weird. Move to my right. Movement to my right. Straight ups. Oh, that's, oh, that scared me a little bit. Okay, four sectoids. One, two, three, four. They're really far away. I am a little bit worried about getting engaged from inside the UFO if there was the floater pod inside. If it is, well, it's kind of like bad luck, really. What can I do here? They are way too far away for me to do much. I can dash up to here, but I'll still be in full vision. So Sokars can't run and get anything useful. He does have squad size, so I can take some shots here, if I wish. Like, 48% is not great, but it's also not terrible either. I, I do have current destruction in the form of Sea Law, but Sea Law is really far away as well. These guys activated practically my friend and they all ran away, which is kind of unfortunate. I think the best plan here is possibly smoke up. Again, the biggest concern, what if something hits me from behind? Because I am leaving my back exposed to UFO, which is a little bit unfortunate. Or even from the side, that could be bad as well. I don't have flank security here, which I don't really like. I think for now, I can't have someone here. Don't like it though. Let's just hunk everyone, so move you up to here. And I'll take this half cover. I'll take all of this half cover. Dalcourt, let's move you up to here. Sea Lord can move you. Let's move you over here. Okay, Sarkoz, you can take full cover and take a shot. You're probably not going to hit. But hey, at least it's a try. 48%. Go ahead. Nope. Okay, that's fine. Of course you did. James Hando, let's move you here. And... Who has a smoke grenade? Cardia does. So what I might do is... Smoke up car... So okay, smoke up everyone over here. Let's 
I'll let the sectoids move up, I'll hunker the guys up front. Subbo. Okay, so James, you have 100 A, you surely, surely you can't miss. Uh, Gregory, pop PC, who can you see? Just him. Hunker. Sea Lord. Let's just dash you all back here to, into a smoke. And J Dubs can hunker. Okay. Let's see what happens. Worst case, something hits me from behind. Ooh, what are you doing? No, oh, that's not great. Yeah, that's really not great. No, it's not right. Stop mind fraying, J Dubs. Oh my god. <laughs> it's happening. Okay. James Hando, or Dalko, I don't get who. Oh. <laughs> he totally got kill stealed. And you missed too, not that matters. <laughs> he totally just got kill stealed right there. Okay, what we do know is none of them are overwatching. Unfortunately, I can't see any of them either. That's kind of sucks. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Can't see you. I can't kill one this turn if I can see. Sokos can potentially run a gun up to somewhere and flank this sectoid over here. I'm not sure where the other sectoid is though. I know they can all see J-Dubs, but right now J-Dubs is kind of panicking. Kind of. But they're not overwatching. So, for my C, let's move you up to here. Oh man, you are so squishy. Ah, doesn't matter. Hi. One, two, three. Can he flank you? To flank, he would have to stand either in the open or move up to here. Who is fast? Surprisingly, Darko is pretty fast, but not fast enough. Okay, so let's have a look. He is in line of this tree. So one, two, three, four, five. So if we go one and a half, three, four and a half, six, seven. Yeah, he can totally flank you. Unless I flank that position myself, but I can't. Which means probably I see my have to retreat. Or I can flashbang you, maybe. Okay, where is Sokos? Sokos? Let's get running. Let's move you up to here. Consider me there. Okay, you can dash up to here. Or you can dash up to here. That works too, except can you get flanked from here? No, not really, unless you trigger another pod, which would be pretty poor. We did just come from this direction, so it's unlikely there'll be a flow pod right here, but there could be a pod right there, so it's, even though I can't take this position, what I might do is not. But if I want to shoot him, I might have to do it. Okay, let's do it. Just don't trigger a flow pod. Why can't you see him? You know, that, that's kind of unfortunate. In other words, that's kind of terrible. Yeah, that's really terrible. Okay, let's move Gregory over here. This is what we call damage control. Oh boy. Damage control, damage control. Why has it come down to this already? You can suppress him, him, or him. Okay. Let's move you up to here, Sea yeah, Lord. James Hanno can move over slightly and overwatch. Cardia doesn't really have anywhere to move to. Let's move you over slightly as well and overwatch from here. Drape Hello can... Oh, I might have to smoke up here. Smoke up everyone over here, especially because you are panicking, which is a problem. Smoke you three up. Overwatch you, unless you have a... No, you can't flashbang because you're running gun. Damn trees in a way, which is a problem. Even if I moved here, the tree would still be in a way. Oh no, the trees aren't the problem. The... Oh, so if I moved here, I wouldn't be able to see because I can step up to a left. Here, I can't step up to a left. <sighs> okay, well, flashbang you, overwatch you, and suppress you. That's a plan. Okay, so suppress you. Roger that. 
he, he might potentially know he's flanked as well, so he might run forward. And James, you're gonna have to smoke up everyone over here. I definitely don't like this, but this is a situation we have to deal with. Okay. Is that flanked? No, it's not actually. I might be able to dash you up, Sea Lord. Go ahead. You can dash up, actually. And Cardia, let's move you up as well. To here. No overwatches except Sarkaz. Oh boy. Hi! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. And Sarkaz missed. That's not good. Yes, it is. Well, at least this guy should be able to flank me, I think. But still, these floaters were a surprise. I am lucky as Sarkaz's run gun did it. Oh my god, you are running. And a head, but then kill. Oh, you're a leader as well. Okay, at least you're running away. That's fine. That's fine. How about you? You're flashbanged. Uh-oh. What are you doing? <sighs> yeah. Damn you floaters for removing my overwatch. Suppression, huh? Not good. Not good. I, might I have to remove suppression somehow. I can probably do it from here. Yeah, I can probably do it from here. So let's go ahead and move you here. Now that I'm overwatching, I think. Okay, cool. Kill the sectoid. Oh, well, that's a mess. That's a, that's a mess. Isn't it? Yeah, that's a mess. God damn you, Sokos. Not the time. See, Lord, what can you do? You can flashbang him. What about all this stuff over here? Okay, you can flashbang. James had about to go medkit someone up. Dalcor needs to suppress. Probably. Probably. This is not looking good. Pop my C and Dalcor. James Hando, you can not move far enough. And Sokos is flanked, he can easily just move a couple of tiles. Yeah, this is not great. Sea uh, Lord, you don't have a flashbang anymore. Okay, how about this? We can move you over here, Sea Lord. What? You are definitely in range. Oh my god. Soft cars, you suck. Maybe I should have gone for the safety option. Hmm. Yeah, this is not good. Not good, not good, not good. J dubs, you're still mind freight like crazy. Pop my C. There's no smoke if I move you up. Yeah, this is kind of terrible actually. I might just have to run a suppression. Which is stupid. God damn you, Sarkos. Why did you have to miss that? Hmm. And JE dubs me, my fray is really not helpful. Like, really not helpful. Somebody can't do anything about you, but I need to because Dalcor will die otherwise. You are in smoke. He's unlikely to one shot you, but he definitely can one shot you, which is a problem. And Jada can't do anything useful here. I'm tempted to, to, I don't know, move you to where Cardia is, but what can Cardia do? You're not gonna hit a sector behind full cover. That much is pretty much given. Ah, uh, cause. You worthless person. And I don't want to have Pomice take any shots here. Sick health is just far too low. Okay, if I can move you... I have to move Dalcor. Dalcor can't stay. 
Darkwood can't stay here. So possibly he can run back to where James Handel is, but James Handel can't see anything, which is also problematic because I need him to be able to suppress. Um, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. I suppose if I kill you, you won't be flanked anymore, but those flows can easily run up to you and just kill you. Obviously that's not good either. Okay. Okay, okay, if I just run the overwatch, he'll have like a 40% on me. Minus 20 for... And then minus... No, no, like 0.7. It's like a 30% shot. If it hits, it might kill you. Damn, I really am out of options here. If you weren't flashbang, I mean, if you weren't... Uh, so I should have brought more flashbangs. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. Hmm. Okay. Maybe the best way to simply dash you somewhere. Dash you maybe to here. Dash you all the way up to here. But that sector can come back and move up to here and flank you or something. I don't know. But it might be your only chance of survival here. To dash. Dash to somewhere where the flowers can't get you. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I don't think flows can move that far. So let's dash you all the way to... I don't want to dash you, but I think it's the only chance of survival here because people keep missing. <sighs> okay, why is it 1%? I don't know. <laughs> I'll pretend to hear you say that. Uh, Cardi is not on smoke anymore. Pop my C, you can't really do anything from here. I might move you up and hunker you. The problem is really that sector over there who ran away and didn't die. So many enemies to deal with. Hey Cardi, let's also dash you up to here. Yes, sir. James Hando. Damn, if I can only move you up to here and hunker your overwatch or something. J-Dubs, you're going to have to hunker, I think. Pop my C, you're just too squishy. We can dash you to here, is it going to help me? Not really. The Dasaku still exists. And someone has to go heal up the gunner. But it's probably not going to be you. And I can't just move you here because you get shot by floaters. So be it, 55, 70, oh my god, 70, that's actually not pretty, that's pretty good actually. Um, but I think I have to hunk you down because you're far too squishy, you can't do anything, which just leaves pop my C, with 50 defense, against 80 aim floaters. Okay, here's what we're gonna do, Overwatch, James Hando, you can take at least one shot from anything, so I'm going to. Shoot this sectoid. Good. And pop my C. I hate, to, hate to tell you this, but you're the rookie, so you're gonna overwatch. Yeah. And you're gonna keep hunkering. At least there shouldn't be any more pot out there. Oh boy. I possibly should have flashbanged this front floater. I'm just thinking. I think I made them mad. <laughs> yeah, I think you did too. Hi. Overwatch. Hello. Sock huh? Okay, good miss. And last floater can see Sock I'm guessing. Yep, don't hit him though. Okay, good. I've seen rookies shoot better. Okay. 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 Okay, okay. Okay, we are still alive. That's amazing. Stop suppressing me. I can't stop you. You are also, also overwatching me. How about an HG grenade? Will I hit both? No, but it doesn't seem like I can hit a suppressor at all. Hey, James Hando. Do you wanna handle this for me? That'll be very helpful. 
Oh, nice. Get her. Okay. Next, I can blow up your cover. Blow up your cover. This sector over here is simply going to have to live, probably. Sock cars can move away and shoot him in the flank. 78%. But I do have to do something about this, this mess over here. As nobody can heal up Dalcourt. Who has my flashbangs? Sea Lord and Sock cars. If I use Sock cars to shoot him, then he can't flashbang. I don't think I can get two of them with the flashbang. But you are heavily red fog, so I can possibly ignore you. Instead, I can focus on these floaters over here. So I flashbang you. Suppress you leaves one guy left. That's not good. I don't want to leave one guy left at all. That's kind of bad this kind of situation. I don't have any flashbangs in the near vicinity. I can possibly move you up and flashbang. There is a possibility. The problem is, there is still two sectors out there. This is only one of them. And he can't be too far away. He has to be pretty close. I can move pop my... S you can run the overwatch too, actually. You can... If you can run the overwatch... Pop my C can... Do nothing. So if I, Okay, so I move you up. You can chuck a flashbang, which means Paul my C can possibly move up and shoot a sector in the flank. No, Sokos will shoot a sector in the flank. Paul my C. Okay, so I think Sokos. Okay, first step, I think it's straight up. Straight up needs to uh, re remove this Overwatch. So this is the only place you can move to do it. So let's just do it. Yep, let's do it. And put you in range to flashbang something. 4%. Don't you dare. Good. There could be another sector of watching too. Okay, but, but nope. Nothing happened there. Cool. Which means you can possibly flashbang something. You can possibly move up and shoot a sector in the flank. I am concerned about the last sector. I don't know where he is. In fact, let's find out. He's somewhere over there to my left. Wow, he, this guy's going all the way around. Okay. Gotta keep that in mind as I do this move. I can move you here. If I move you here, I can possibly shoot you in the flank. This is actually a bit of a concern. James Taylor might get flanked. I hope he doesn't. I hope it doesn't do people any good, does it? The thing is, if I can get Sarkos to do something crazy, uh, just not of people right now. I can shoot you, but what about that sector over there? What can I do about him? Not much. Maybe I can move you all the way up to here. I can possibly see him and I can overwatch him to keep him still. So, what if I do that? Shoot you. Move up, overwatch, which leaves everyone here to do whatever they feel like. But I still can't control the floaters. There's too many floaters right now. It's a problem. And the sectoids aren't helping. I got a sword shotgun, which is pretty handy. Uh, okay, I think the only thing I can do here is I need you to move somewhere and shoot him. So let's do that. Let's move you down here to half cover. Can I just fast walk? And shoot this sectoid. Good. That's good, good, fine. good. Oh, yes, yeah, it is. Well, I'll find some more or something. I don't know. Um, I can kill one or if I kill. Cardi, I can move up and shoot. But Dalcourt, what can Dalcourt do? He can move up here and suppress one. Yeah, I don't like these options, dude. I really don't like these options. Alternatively, flashbang. Flashbang, suppress. Okay. That's what I can do. Flashbang, flashbang, suppress. Overwatch that sectoid. Okay. So, you are heavy wounded, but. Sometimes you don't, you don't really have a choice. You don't get an option of doing what you want to do. So let's flashbang you. Cool. Um, flashbang you. Obviously this is not great, but <laughs> we're just using up all our resources on this one fight. Which means the outside is going to be tricky. 
very tricky. Okay, you're gonna move out there. You're flashbang, but you can still potentially flank if I move here, just because you only have to move two tiles. So instead, if I move here, that sector can potentially flank, but if I keep it under control, it'll be fine. So let's move you here. And suppress you, or can I AP grenade him? No, I can't. Oh, there's this, uh, this, uh, this one right back, right there in the back as well. I forgot about you. Okay, you're gonna have to suppress the guy in the back. Okay. Cardia, let's move you up to here, or here, and Poppy C. Let's move you over here. You are here. If I move you back to here, you are in line with James Hando, in fact. Okay. Oh. Kill him. Good. Okay, good. Just Cardia left. Cardia? Cardia, Cardia, Cardia. We need to stop this guy from flanking him, so let's move you up to here. And I can take a shot, but I'm gonna overwatch. Okay. Dow Court, don't you dare die on me. Okay. We have so many 1% coming our way. Okay. I mean, sure, they're 1%, but come on. It's still scary. Okay. Okay. Do we have more suppression? Because we don't. No more suppression. No more suppression. We have one flashbang on Sarkos. He also has a runner gun left. Okay. Oh, Jesus. Where's James Hando? Who can Sarkos run and gun? Sarkos, you're right here. You can run and gun him. I can dash you up and run and gun. Someone can overwatch this guy to keep him pinned. No, I have dashed all the way here to run again because because of sword off, sword off. That's why. Uh, James Hando, is there full cover I can move you to? Yes, there is. Okay, how handy. Let's move you to full cover and let's go ahead and shoot one of these two. Let's go ahead and shoot you. Come on, Hando. Good. I just want to make sure. Yes, I know. Just want to make sure that he's dead. Normal suppression is really unfortunate. I need that suppression. Okay, Sea Lord. Let's go ahead and blow up this cover. One step at a time. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Cardia. 76%. Do it. Nope. Adjusting sights. J dubs and Poppy C. Poppy C has no full cover to move to safely. J dubs. You're so squishy, but. No need to ask twice. Regardless, we need this to happen. Kill! Good, good. Good, good, good. Sarkos can possibly move up and flashbang, so that's a plus. Dalcorn is a move away. Poppy C, Sarkos, Dalcourt. So Dalcourt, move me back here and reload. Sarkos, I just need to move up a little bit to flashbang, so let's move you up to here. And flashbang you. A very nice flashbang. But at least next turn we'll have suppression back. My biggest concern is you. Okay, who's left? Poppy C, Poppy C, you are too squishy for my tastes. Stash you up to here. No, let's stash you up to here. I'm on it, Commander. No, I mean, walk you up to there. And I can hunker you there. Okay. You're flashbanged. You're uncontrolled. I'm ho but as long as he doesn't crit, he shouldn't be able to kill me, I think. Where are you going? What? Is there more pods out there? 
They all just died on me. So be it. So be it. You are standing next to that piece of cover. He's not overwatching. What the heck are you doing, floater? I'm on it, Commander. Where's your friend gone? Okay. I am a little afraid of this more part down there. Usually when aliens retreat like that, they're heading towards other friendly parts, so I am a little bit concerned. Two head chances, 53. James Hendo is too slow. Pompey C is too slow. Cardia can make it. Cardia? Come on, Cardia. Kill. Well, it's a hit. Let's just leave it at that. It's a hit. Poppy C, you're too squishy. So you're gonna take some cover or something. Sock cars. And J dubs. J dubs? Take that shot. Good. Okay, okay. Sock cars, let's move you up to here. You can reload. I don't know where your friend has gone, but. Yes, I know, it's fun. Let's hunker you over here. Delcourt, you're gonna move over I'm here and heal yourself. It's about freaking time. That was a nasty hit. Okay, you and James Handle. James Handle, let's dash you up to here. And you can move here and hunker. Okay, hello. How you doing? Okay, you. Literally want me to die. Okay. Who am I to deny you a death? So just. I mean, how do you get it? You're so weird. Come to Nintendo. Good job. I'm pretty sure where it's left the outsiders. We got no mail, but hey, everyone's still alive. And that's why I call it victory. Not the world's smoothest victory, but. I'd say it was still a victory regardless. Whoops, I was meant to reload you. That's the outsiders. And like I said before, I'm pretty sure they're inside the main room. So let's just get moving. What a firefight. Heading to that location. Solid copy. Position confirmed. If I were to attribute that victory to something, I would say flashbangs and suppression. Mostly flashbangs, actually. Mostly flashbangs. Okay, even though I'm almost certain that they are inside the center room here, I'm still going to be a little bit careful. Let's have everyone be semi-ready. I mean, why... Why take the risk when we don't have to? Running. That's a bottle I'll let you go by. Understood. Moving out. James Hando. James Hando. James Hando. Pop, pop my C. Get out of the way. James Hando needs that spot. Ah, oh, James Hando, too slow. <laughs> well, well. That's fine. That's it. I'm like 100%. Okay. I'm like 99% starting to know in this room. I'm pretty sure they're in the back room. Do you hear that? Yeah, not really actually. It's pretty quiet in there. Okay. They're not in this room, as I predicted. Aye, aye, Commander. And they saw a tracker earlier. They could be in this room, or they could be in this room. I'm pretty sure they are inside here. This door is closed. This door is closed. I can try to triangulate the position. If they are in the middle, I think I want to attack from both directions. Maybe. Let's do this. Maybe. All I need is another... Wings of a cheetah. Come on, Sock Cars. Cheetahs don't have wings. We've seen it like three or four times already. already when will you learn to stop learning biography from... I don't know, Bradford School of Learning or something. I'm pretty sure that's where he got his portrait from. Okay, so they're pretty much certainly inside this room. So let's go ahead and open this door. And I think I will want to have... Okay, cool, they are in this... Uh, I mean, they are in this room, good. 
Aha, hello there. One, two. One, two. Okay, so let's split let's split up. Let's have James Hando. And yes, sir. I think I have someone else with marksman rifle. Uh, James Hando and Sarkos, right? So Sarkos can also go this way. Oh, actually, yeah, Sarkos, you can go this way as well. You two can go this way. Play Everyone else, ah, oh, stop complaining. Everyone else, go this way. Where is the gunner now, Court? It's funny you have double tap. I haven't even used a single time this mission. No flashbangs, which I don't like. Do I have more medkits? I think I do on James Tender. Unfortunately, James Tender is on the other side of the map. Oh well. So, cause. Let's move you here. And James Tender. Let's move you here. And. <laughs> you always want her out, aren't you? Everyone else here is all prepared. Oh, yes, we know where they are. It's aliens. I know, it's amazing, isn't it? We have aliens on this planet. Uh, James Hando. Steady. Steady. You can't steady. Neither can you, funny enough. Okay. Let's open the door. Open from this side. Actually, no, let's open from this side. Because they'll probably see us and run away. Me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. The alien flight computer could no, be not now, Violet. useful in our own research. Please take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. You don't have any explosives left, otherwise I will blow it up. Just because you said that. Now, if, <laughs> how I wish I had some grenades right now, but I don't. I can flank one. You man, you're slow. Flank two. Flank two with rookies, and you are almost a flank. So two and a half flanks, and I can also AP grenade them to soften them up. And sock cost can also f a running gun. Claimed handle, eighty-five ninety. Let's take a nine percent shot first. No, let's AP grenade first. Let's AP grenade first. Do some damage. And then we'll continue from there. I'm pretty sure we can kill them both. Okay, that was pretty pathetic. That was pretty poor. 9%. Come on, James Hando. Nice! Very nice. Hey, you don't have an E-running gun. Okay, Sarkast, go ahead. One leg at a time. Let's see if we can one-shot this guy. Good job. All mission objectives completed. No, you should run, and good job. That was certainly an interesting firefight outside of UFO. No mail, which is unfortunate, but hey. We're gonna do. The mail's inside a UFO somewhere. Okay, Cash Sokos. Well, you're probably gonna change your nickname in a bit. You have Resilience, Damn Good Ground, Lone Wolf. Interesting picks. I'll go through it again later on. And Gregory Dalcourt. Oh, okay. Running Gun, Repair Servos, and Field Medic. Yeah, that's an interesting uh, perk choices as well. And we have James Hando, who gets <laughs> Lime Up, Rapid Fire, Grenadier. Interesting. And I believe I took one more specialist, right? Right. J dubs. Double tap, rapid fire, and danger zone. Okay. Again, uh, danger zone doesn't actually work with anything unless you have suppression or rockets and you have neither, so this is not really a valid choice. So your choices are rapid fire or double tap. Again, I go through this at the very end. Cool. And yeah. That was a nasty hit, but at least you're still alive, and I'm happy about that. Okay, goody good. And is there anything we want to use money on? We can build this, and I think I will build this. But it's not like we can do much else, so let's sell these. 
Whoops, it's also these two as well. How much money does it cost? Where is it actually? Thermal. 350. 350 dollars. Well, we need those, those black computers, we're not selling them. So I guess all we can really do is scan it here. We can sell some of these corpses, I suppose. I mean, it's not like we're using them. Yep, just need a tiny bit more. What do you want? No, you can't have that. Just a tiny bit more. I probably shouldn't sell that many corpses, to be honest. Ah, oh, well. And once that's built, we can build more labs once we have enough scientists. Cool, let's scan ahead. Alloys for engineers. I don't know, 20 engineers. I can build another satellite uplink. It won't be finished this month, so I'll build next month. I really don't know. I am going to need engineers, but I'm also going to need alloys for all the uh, mech stuff that we'll be needing to build soon as well. How many alloys is it? 12. 12 alloys. I really think I'm going to be needing those alloys. I don't need two engineers right now. But if I don't do this, the mech might take a whole month to build. I need all the mech, all the engineers I can get for that. So it's much of a pain to me to do this. We will be getting more alloys. In fact, I think Mal will be a bigger. Um, the council is requesting your attention. Secure transmission coming in now. The bigger bar neck. But okay, what do you want, council? What do you have for me? Target escort. Oh no, not this one. Dr. Marizuki, this is my least favorite target escort, probably my least favorite um, council mission in general. Not counting bomb disposals, because everyone hates those. This is going to be interesting, and this is going to be our next mission. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave your thoughts and comments down below, and I'll see you next time for a council mission, escorting Dr. Marizuki. Until then, see ya! Promotions, you love them, I love them. So let's get to it. Suck cars, we have Lone Wolf, Damn Good Ground, and Resilience. Let me know which one you wish to have. James Hando, you have the choices of Grenadier, Rapid Fire, and Lime Up. Something to keep in mind, Rapid Fire is not a double shot perk because on normal builds, uh, there's a non training roulette, you can get Rapid Fire in the same tree as all other more shot perks like Lime Up, for example, on the infantry. The Lime Up, on the other hand, is a double shot perk, so keep that in mind. J-Dubs, you have Danger Zone, which does not work, so you can't pick that. Uh, rapid Fire, or Double Tap, so it's really Rapid Fire or Double Tap here. Let me know which one you wish to have. Big, strong Gregory Dalcourt <laughs> in the infirmary, you have Repair Servos, Run Gun, or field medic. The interesting thing about run gun here is that if you have run gun and you have a weapon which you can't normally move and shoot with, like an LMG or a full length sniper rifle, guess what? All of a sudden you can, with no penalties whatsoever. It's really weird, but it's pretty cool as well. Uh, so yeah, again, repair servo, run gun, or field medic. And now, Mike Maximus, you picked in the zone. Very good choice. You have 10 kills over 2 missions. That's 5 kills a mission, that's insane. It's going to be interesting to see how you, your kill count completely explodes after this. Bias face, you picked heat ammo. Good choice. Heat is always important to have, and it's going to make you an excellent drone and seeker and, I don't know, disc, mectoid, whatever killer. It's going to be great. Derpy derp, you picked hate warheads. Congratulations. Exoparium, you have picked Covering Fire, so let's give it to you. I think that worked, right? Yes it did. Excellent. 